of course, will stay on top of this. Now video you will only see on four. Chopper 4 flying over the Delaware County Fairgrounds as a teenage escapee was tracked down and arrested. The moment came after he was on the run for more than 12 hours. We have team coverage of Michael Wilson's escape and capture. We'll go live to NBC4's Marcus Thorpe and Rick Reitzel in just a moment. But first, let me give you a little background on this one. 16 year old Michael Wilson escaped from a juvenile detention center in Marion around 7 last night. He jumped a fence. By 6 this morning, he made it all the way to Delaware County. At 1030, his time on the run came to an end at the fairgrounds. That's 20 miles from where he started. We begin our team coverage tonight with NBC4's Marcus Thorpe. He's live in Delaware County to explain how Michael Wilson's arrest went down this morning. Marcus. So it was a massive search looking everywhere they could and actually trying to close in on several uh, possible appearances as to where he was. But then boom, there he was. That 16 year old actually walking through the gates right here behind me. And once he was found, those investigators say he actually took off running in this direction, actually getting into that field hundreds of yards away. He was boxed in. He was tased. He was cuffed by a sheriff's deputy and a public safety officer from Ohio Wesleyan. Somebody here tonight only on four. They wanted him bad. Michael Wilson, 16 years old, an escapee who was tracked to Delaware County. Jay McCann had the day off from Ohio Wesleyan, but decided to call in. Hey, I'm available today. You know, if things get crazy, you know, do you need me to come in? And he said, well, sure, let's, let's be safe. Go ahead and come in. He was sent by his chief to the command post. Then, within minutes. I actually saw the suspect standing on the side of the road at 23 and thought to myself, did I really just see that guy? He also heard the radio traffic. It was him, the suspect, and he was on the move. Uh, the suspect saw us, uh, immediately uh, began to act abruptly, uh, and then took off fleeing uh, south. Now joined by a sheriff's deputy, they caught up in their cruisers and boxed him in. Paralleling him in the car, ordering him to stop. He told the suspect several times, stop, 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 don't, don't run, don't run, gave him several opportunities to comply. The suspect refused to comply. The deputy did what was necessary uh, to detain the suspect and keep our community safe. That was deploying the taser, hitting the suspect while the car was moving and the suspect was on foot. Officer McCann then jumped out to help cuff the teen. It's just instinct. Uh, you see a brother in law enforcement that needs help and you jump in and help. Uh, and that's just kind of what happened today. I was fortunate to be at the right place at the right time. And wrong place, wrong time for the suspect. He was not happy he had been caught. And as is customary, that suspect was actually taken to the hospital for some observations and actually saying he was very combative. That's what the sheriff said to us at the end of the day, at the end of him being put into custody. Now, coming up new for you tonight at 6, we're going to talk to some of the daycares as well as churches around the area. A very scary day for them until he was caught. Now, of course, this all started miles away in Marion County. That's where NBC4's Rick Reitzel is live tonight. Rick? Marcus, that witness tells me he saw Michael Wilson climbing hand over hand up that fence, something neighbors said. The fence is 12 to 16 feet tall with barbed wire on the top. It was just before dark when Isaac Altenberger says he couldn't believe what he was seeing. And I saw the kids at the rec room uh, start going inside and one kind of um, started heading towards the fence and so he jumped up a few times, uh, wasn't successful at first, but after about the third or fourth time he went right over the fence and started running. Altenberger is a security guard for his apartment building that sets right behind the Marion County Juvenile Justice Center. I called immediately as soon as I saw him jump the fence and by the time, you know, I called and hung up the phone, they already had a perimeter set up. He's heard others call Michael Wilson Spider-Man like. When I first heard the thing about Spider-Man, you know, it made me chuckle a little bit because I was like, yeah, he, you know, um, he did climb the fence and it is a tall fence. Now, Wilson was treated at Grady Memorial Hospital in Delaware, and just a few hours ago, I watched juvenile employees examining that fence. Live here in Marion, Rick Reitzel, NBC4. It has been a very busy 12 hours. You can get a lot more information on this escape and the capture. Go to NBC4i.com.